Bonjour tout le monde. So this video is going to take us through le loto de mars, and le loto de mars means March bingo. And the idea of March bingo is to look out for different items that you'll see that are signs of spring in your local area, outdoors, when you're out in your walks. And then you can tick them off on the lotto sheet, the bingo sheet that we've provided. And you'll find that at the bottom underneath this video in the description. There's a link to it there. So you'll be able to go in there, find it, download it. And then you can tick off the different things as and when you see them. Okay. On y va. We're going to practice the pronunciation. Let's go. So the first item on our Lotto de Mars is un mésange bleu. Un mésange bleu. And you'll recognize this bird. So this is a blue tit. Okay. And in French, on dit un mésange bleu. And you'll hear it's got a slightly Z sound at the S there. So mésange bleu. And bleu, you'll probably recognize from the color blue. Un mésange bleu. Bravo. Ensuite, un merle. Un merle. And un merle is possibly another bird you'll recognize. So this is a blackbird. Un merle. And they're très jolis, very pretty, avec le bec orange, with an orange beak. Super. Ensuite, une fleur. So next up, a flower. Les jonquilles. Les jonquilles. And les jonquilles are a flower which emerge every spring. You'll see them everywhere around about um, outside. Ils sont jaunes, so they're yellow. Les jonquilles. Après, les tulipes. Les tulipes. Super, les tulipes. Les tulipes. Bravo. And they come after les jonquilles. So you should see les jonquilles first and then you'll see les tulipes. So it's interesting to note which order the different flowers appear in. But it's les jonquilles and then après, afterwards, les tulipes. Ensuite, des bourgeons. Des bourgeons. And the bourgeons in English are buds. So looking out for the buds, and you'll see a lot of these beginning to appear in March on trees and on shrubs, on roses, lots of different things. The bourgeons, the bourgeons. Super. Oh, voilà, the bourgeons. And so next up, we have a flower which you might recognise. It's very common in Scotland. We usually see it appear on the hills around about us. And in French, this is what we call les agents. Les agents. And les agents in English is gorse. So it's what we call gorse. So les agents. Les agents. Super. Après, un lapin. Un lapin. So you can keep your eyes peeled. For un lapin, un lapin, super, a rabbit, un lapin. Et ensuite, nous avons les jacinthes des bois. Les jacinthes des bois. And les jacinthes des bois are, again, a really common flower that we see in the springtime. And this is what we call bluebells. So, les, ja les jacinthes des bois. And this bit at the end, des bois, means of the woods. So, these are flowers of the woods. And quite often you'll see them in the woods as well. So, you can look out for them if you're out on a walk. Les jacinthes des bois. Ensuite, un papillon. Un papillon. So a butterfly, and you can keep an eye out for them. When you see your first one, it's quite exciting. When you see your first one of the year, un papillon, un papillon, super. Après, un rouge gorge, un rouge gorge. 
And these wee birds are ones that we usually associate with winter. So we usually link them to winter. A rouge gorge. Et en anglais, c'est... And in English, it's a robin. And rouge gorge. But you'll still see them around in spring quite often. And quite often you might see them in pairs as well as you begin to build their nests and lay their eggs. Un rouge gorge. Super. Après, un abeille. Un abeille. And again, this is an exciting thing to see your first one of in the springtime because we don't see them in the winter. They hibernate in the winter. So when they come out in the spring, you'll see them for the first time. So you can tick them off on your Lotto de Mars sheet when you do. And the way we say this in French for a bee is un abeille. Un abeille. Super. Ensuite, une toile d'araignée. Une toile d'araignée. Une toile d'araignée. And the toile d'araignée is a spider's web. And some of these will stay around all winter, but usually the spiders come out more in the, at this time of year, so you begin to see more and more of them. So when you see one, you can tick one off on your sheet. Une toile d'araignée. Alors, après, des perses neige. Des perses neige and you might have seen quite a lot of these around at the moment and these are snowdrops they perce neige and perce neige literally means to pierce the snow so snow piercers and that's because they quite often come up when it's still snowy so and the way we say this in french is des perce neige des perce neige bravo so you would be very lucky if you managed to spot one of these but you might see one in a tree or in a bush or in a shrub or you might start to see the birds picking up bits of stick and twigs and straw and things to take back to build their nests and the way that we say this in French is un nid d'oiseau un nid d'oiseau okay and when you say nid you don't hear the d on the end of it so you'll see that it's spelled n-i-d but you just say un nid, so the D is silent, okay? So it's un nid d'oiseau. And that bit at the start there, so doa, it's like doa, 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 d'oiseau. Un nid d'oiseau. Super! And so this is the last item on your lotto sheet. So if you manage to spot all of these things, you can tick them all off. Um, and this is le frais des grenouilles le frais des grenouilles okay and that is frog spawn that you might have recognized there frog spawn so you want to keep an eye out for this so this is where frogs lay their eggs so you can keep an eye out for this and then if you spot it and sometimes you can see it in just really shallow bits of water other times it might be in a um, bit of a pond or a loch so just keep an eye out for it so it's le frais des grenouilles. Super! Okay, so if you'd like to practice all these things, then you can download the lotto sheet from the link that's in the description below. So if you go to the description and look for the link, that will take you to the lotto sheet. And then there's a tick box beside each item. So once you see it, you tick it off on the sheet. And you can either use that as a downloaded version onto your computer, or you can print it off and tick it. Ok. Super. Merci beaucoup tout le monde. Bonne chance. Au revoir.